Welcome back to English with Ekran. Today I will discuss paragraph. What is a paragraph? What are different elements of the body of paragraph? And what are the different types of paragraph? Before I start today's lecture, I will uh, ask you to subscribe my channel right now. If you haven't subscribed my channel, if you want to learn in easy and modern way, you should subscribe my channel. Just press the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you may get the alerts of the notification of my coming videos. So today's session is about paragraph writing. What is a paragraph and what are the different elements of paragraph, the body of the paragraph and what are different types of paragraph. Let's get started. First of all, what is a paragraph? A paragraph is a piece of writing a unit of writing which expresses one particular theme, one idea. A paragraph is basically about one theme. It expresses one idea. A paragraph should not be the mixture of different ideas. A good paragraph is about one idea, one theme. It expresses one theme. A paragraph expresses the speaker's thoughts, the speaker's views about one topic, one idea. Right? And there are different elements of the body of paragraph. There are three different elements of the body of paragraph. The first one is topic sentence. Topic sentence, as you know, the, the, the beginning sentence, the sentence with which a paragraph starts. And topic sentence introduces the paragraph. Topic sentence introduces the topic. Topic of the paragraph. This is the first the opening sentence. Then the next element of the body of the paragraph supporting sentences. Supporting sentences explain the idea. Supporting sentences are different sentences between the topic sentence and the concluding sentence. And these sentences explain the idea. These sentences explain the topic, the main theme. And these sentences revolve around the main theme, the main topic. These are different uh, supporting sentences in between the topic sentence and the concluding, the last sentence. And these sentences explain the, the, the topic, the main theme, the main topic. And then the last element is concluding sentence. Concluding sentence, obviously, is the last sentence and it ends the paragraph. Concluding sentence in the paragraph and sometimes it's a sort of transition towards the next paragraph. So these are three elements of paragraph. There are four different types of a paragraph. The first type of paragraph is descriptive paragraph. Descriptive paragraph, narrative paragraph, and then uh, persuasive paragraph and expository paragraph. What is descriptive paragraph? As with the name implies, descriptive paragraph describes something. In this paragraph, the writer describes something. It describes uh, something and shows the reader what a person or thing is like. This is a sort of description, description of something, description of a person. So in this paragraph, the writer describes something or shows the reader what uh, is the person or what is the thing like? It is described what are the features of that person or what are the features of that thing. In descriptive paragraph, the writer describes something, the writer gives some sort of description. The first kind of paragraph is descriptive paragraph. Okay, then the next one is narrative paragraph. In narrative paragraph, the writer tells a story. There is a proper sequence, proper sequence of actions. There is a beginning, there is a middle, and there is an ending. There is a proper sequence of action. And uh, in this paragraph, a story is narrated, a story is told, a story about anything. Especially, uh, stories in past tense, the series of actions, series of incidents, they are given in this sort of paragraph, narrative paragraph. It there is a sequence of actions, middle as beginning, start of any event or any incident, then there is a proper middle and there is a proper ending. So this is the second kind of paragraph, narrative paragraph. 
Then the third type of paragraph is expository paragraph. Obviously, in this sort of paragraph, the writer explains something. Explains something. This is expository paragraph. The writer explains something or the writer provides some sort of instruction. And this sort of paragraph requires some research. It requires because the writer explains something step by step. It uh, requires research method. This is expository, expository paragraph. So this sort of uh, paragraph requires research and describe the thing step by step. This is a sort of explanation. Explain the thing with sector research and step by step. This is the third kind of paragraph which is called expository paragraph. Then the next one is persuasive paragraph. In this sort of paragraph the writer uh, tries to get the reader accept certain viewpoint. This is some, uh, some sort of persuasion. The writer tries to get the reader convinced about a particular point. And this sort of paragraph especially is, is useful when you are building a sort of argument, argument about any, uh, anything and you want that your reader should accept your argument. To try to pursue uh, persuasion, persuade the reader to try to get the reader accept your viewpoint. Especially when you want to build up a sort of argument and you want that the reader should accept your, you want to convince him. In such sort of paragraph, uh, the, uh, the writer persuades the reader. He tries to get the reader accept, convince his viewpoint. This is persuasive. These are four different kinds of paragraph. The first one is uh, descriptive paragraph, then narrative paragraph, then expository paragraph, and persuasive paragraph. Whenever you want to write a paragraph, you have to keep this thing in mind that a paragraph should be about one topic, one theme. It should express one idea. A paragraph should not be a mixture of different ideas. For one idea, for one theme, you have to use, you have to write in one paragraph. Then you will go to the next paragraph for the next topic, for the next theme. And there should be a sequence, sequence of sentences. Then you have to keep in mind the body, the elements of, of the paragraph. There should be a topic sentence, that should introduce the paragraph, then uh, to support the topic there should be some supporting sentences and then at, uh, at the end there should be the last uh, concluding sentence and sometimes concluding sentence is a sort of transition toward the next paragraph. Then you have to uh, keep in mind that if you want to narrate something that is narrative paragraph in, in uh, narrative paragraph you should narrate you should tell a story and uh, when you tell a story there should be a sequence of actions. And you want to describe them, something that is descriptive paragraph, you have to keep in mind the consistency of descriptive paragraph and then persuasive paragraph. And, uh, and uh, the last one is descriptive, narrative, expository. Expository paragraph, and you want to explain something, you need some sort of research, you explain something step by step. This is uh, something about paragraph. What is paragraph? Paragraph writing, different elements of the body of paragraph, and different types of paragraph. That's all for today. Thank you very much. Keep on watching my videos.